For some of you guys, I just got, you guys are leaving behind a workplace or um, this could be a boss abusing their power, a bad boss, a clash with boss, a boss or something like that. Okay, we have peace and harmony. This is what you're focused on. Happiness is way more important than whatever situation this is. Not speaking, not communicating. Ten of Swords. Let me just take this card out. This person's trying to manipulate a situation. I feel like they're also I feel like a lot of reverse psychology. I feel like um, this person, they're not trying to communicate with you, but they're trying to do things in sneaky, shady, deceptive ways or um, like some type of passive aggressive thing. To be doing some sort of mental magic too. They're trying to draw you to them without drawing you to them type of thing, I feel like. Without communicating verbal communication. This person's sorry, but this person's a coward. This person's a total coward. Uh, Ten of Swords ruined. They're devastated. Devastated. They feel like they're the victim. Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. They're in competition with you. They're jealous of you. If this is a soulmate or something like that, or twin flame, they're jealous. This person wants you, but then they're jealous of you. This, this, those two does not. It does. It doesn't work like that. You can't love somebody and then hate them and be jealous. Your competition could be ego battles, ego clash. It could have recently been a fight or something. There's a lot of strife here. Stiff uh, competition. Seven of Cups. They could be not responding to emails or um, messages. Page of Swords, Eight of Wands reversed. They don't want to move forward. Seven of Cups. Illusions, confusions. You could be exploring your options or have other options. Somebody has uh, other options or something like that. They want you to be in competition or something. This person wants you and somebody else fighting over them. Maybe this is a karmic. I feel like for some of y'all, they want you and somebody else fighting over them, like a karmic or something like that. This could be a man that wants two women fighting over them or beefing over them. They want to feel like they're like the prize or something like that. <laughs> Seven of Cups. They're trying to confuse you. Five of Swords reversed because they don't want you to move on. They see you're becoming more and more confident, more and more brave, more... Um, Self-loving, self-respecting. More self-assured. There's Leo energy. They don't they, they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to sell away. They have not moved on from you. They could be trying to apologize or make amends after some fight or disagreement. Show me this energy. Seven of Cups, five, five of Wands. There's some sort of confusion here too. See, this is a man. I knew it. This is a man. Dealings or relationship with the man. This is some man that is not communicating to you or you're the man not communicating to some. Some man is not communicating to somebody. No communication, not speaking. They want you to fight over them or create a fight, argument, or some tension. This person is way too egotistical. Seven of Cups. Show me the Seven of Cups, man. Wreath. Sorrow over a loss. So you must have left a man or something. Or this man left somebody. Something in September. Okay, maybe you left this person in September or something happened in September. Could be a Virgo also or a Libra. Any sign really, but Seven of Cups, they're sorrowful or sad. Seven of Cups, they want you fighting over them or something like that. Seven of Cups, they think not communicating to you is going to confuse you. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Yeah, and that's that strength, energy, valley. Top of the deck, rats. Someone is working against you behind your back. This person's a hidden enemy. Some of you guys, unfortunately, are coming to a conclusion too. You guys are really realizing your person or your soulmate or your twin flame, maybe somebody you thought was your twin flame, is a hidden enemy. 
that's a very um that's a very that's hard to come to terms with i feel like i feel like they're a hidden enemy if this is, was a romantic situation yeah nine of swords reverse you're done with the cruelty you're done with the games you're done with the abuse the mind games power plays you're done 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 some of you guys are done with the sleepless nights done stressing done just done this energy all these swords are out so this looks like this person plays a lot of games three of pentacles you could work with this person or this could be one of your friends or a third party situation Three coins. Ooh, this almost fell off the damn counter. I'm working on it. I will do my part. You do yours. See, they want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you or something like that. But I feel like you're at your breaking point or you're done with this person. Long-term potential. This is out reverse. Let's clarify this and see real quick. Triggered. Somebody's triggered. Maybe you triggered them or they triggered you. That's that Ten of Swords energy. They're hating because you're winning and you're succeeding at life. Long-term potential. Five of Pentacles. I don't feel like they have long-term potential though. Maybe this is what you guys were thinking before. I feel like with the Seven of Cups, somebody's judgment was clouded. Or like it's been an illusion or something like that. This person could be an illusionist. This person could be all talk is what it feels like. Maybe they apologized a lot, but they keep doing the same shit. Five of Coins, they're very worried. You could definitely look like you left them out in the cold. Or you're th really truly thinking about that. Could have kicked them out or something, left them behind, neglected them. Maybe they did this to you. Maybe they left you behind. Long-term potential. They're very insecure too, I feel like. It could be very low vibrational. Maybe they're struggling. It could be health problems. Uh, Long-term potential. It could be going through financial hardships. Two of Cups. Yeah, they want this Two of Cups with you. They want this love with you. They want a relationship with you. They want this uh, connection with you. They feel this passion and love for you. I feel like this person feels like you're the one. Some of y'all, this is mutual feelings. And some of you guys, it's not. Some of you guys, you're not really feeling like that no more. Or you are uh, really having doubts or second guessing this connection, I feel. But it's like, that's what I'm saying. At the same time, it's like two of cups. They love you. They have these feelings for you. But at the same time, they're envious. And then they're hating on you because you're winning. I don't feel like these are karmic energies. I have not seen any karmic energies come out so far, which is a good thing. I feel like this is between two or more people. I don't really feel like it's karmic. Yeah, they look like they're going through some tough times or something. But this energy, this five of coins energy, going back to what I was saying earlier, at this point in like the collective, like where we are as a collective this day and age, there's no excuse. Like there's no, you can't point the finger. Oh my karmic, cause my karmic, my karmic, the karmic. Like we get, at some point you gotta take accountability. This is a very, five of coins can also be very self, self victimization. Poor me. Poor me, it's because my karma, that's why I lost you. You know what I'm saying? This is what it feels like. This feels like a victim. This person could be a bum or acting like a bum. Out in the cold, struggling, poverty thinking, poverty mindset. Show me this. Ooh, show me this five of coins. These cards are almost falling off the counter. Almost falling off the edge of the counter. Five of coins, they're worried. They're worried they're going to lose you, I feel like. No communication, not communicating. So maybe they're not communicating. Not unsuccessful plans. Maybe they're not making plans or something. I feel like they're trying to avoid you or avoiding the issues or the problems. If they did do something to try to work against you or betray you uh, with this Ten of Swords or try to create some ruin in your life 
or destruction or stab you in the back. It's not working. It's, it's unsuccessful or it's going to be. We're stuck in a knot. There's a knot here. They want to bring you down to their... I feel like you're out of this person's league or something. I feel like they're... Let me see this triggered energy. I feel like they want to bring you down to lower your standards or something so they don't have to put much effort in or live up to your standards or something. Uh, triggered. Whale. Great worry over nothing. So they're worrying over nothing, I guess. <laughs> Somebody's worrying over nothing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to move forward. I don't know what this person who's worrying over something, but I will work on it. I will do my part. You do yours. They want to team up or something. Yeah, they want to reconcile. Reconciliation. There's a pineapple. They want to reconcile. If this is you and you want to reconcile with somebody and you're a man, lion. See, there's all this lion energy. We're almost in Leo season. Almost in Leo season. It's time to act and be strong or else this person's going to sell away and move on or something like that. This energy's not playing no more. These divine feminines too, not playing. No nonsense. 